Cedar Point Explained, Part 1 Over the years, Cedar Point has made itself known, becoming one of the world's largest and greatest hubs for world-class rides and roller coasters. The amusement park attracts over 3 million visitors annually, and is the most visited seasonal amusement park in the United States. Throughout its lifetime, the park has been constantly developing, producing new attractions to thrill guests of all ages. Because of this, it is now the second oldest operating amusement park in the United States, and is home to over 70 different rides and attractions. Cedar Point started its life as a public bathing beach back in 1870. Since then, the park has been expanding in size, adding more rides and attractions onto the already crowded Lake Erie Peninsula. The 365 acres of land sit adjacent to the city of Sandusky in Ohio, USA. The entirety of the park is surrounded by the water of Lake Erie. Not only does this give breathtaking views of the surroundings while on some of the world's tallest rides, but at the time offered the perfect scenery for a new amusement destination. 22 years after opening, Cedar Point constructed its first roller coaster, the Switchback Railway. Incredible at the time, the ride stood only 8 metres tall and reached the top speed of 10 miles per hour. This was the first step to becoming what the park is today, one of the best amusement parks in the world. To enter the park, visitors must travel over the Dick Kensal Causeway, a road which links the island of Cedar Point to the town of Sandusky. The short drive provides great distant views of the entire amusement park and helps to build up the excitement for newly arriving guests. Cedar Point is home to several notable coasters, including that of Millennium Force, Top Thrill Dragster, Maverick and Gatekeeper. However, it wasn't until 1964 when the first roller coaster that currently operates at Cedar Point opened to the public. The ride, Blue Streak, is a wooden coaster that still ranks high in many worldwide rankings today. It measured 24 metres high and features the maximum angle of descent of only 45 degrees. Blue Street became the first of the 16 modern day coasters that can still be found at the park. Cedar Point would also not be complete without flat rides. Currently, five notable thrill rides operate at the park, including Windseeker, Max Air, Power Tower, Witch's Wheel and Skyhawk. Windseeker and Power Tower both take riders up to a height of 300 feet, allowing them to see magnificent views of the park. A common theme present throughout many of the rides installed at Cedar Point is record breaking. Out of the 16 coasters that currently exist, 9 broke records relating to height, speed, length or inversions. The park has always been a pioneer of the largest roller coasters around the globe. Cedar Point's initial record breaker, Corkscrew, was the first roller coaster to feature 3 inversions. Constructed by Aerodynamics in 1976, it stands 26 metres tall and reaches the top speed of 48 miles per hour. The ride features a standard double corkscrew found on other arrow coasters, as well as the additional vertical loop. Two years after Corkscrew debuted, the park opened Gemini, a large racing hybrid coaster composed of a steel track with wooden supports. One year later, the park released their first now operating children's coaster, Wilderness Run. Interestingly, it was the first roller coaster to be constructed by Intamin, a company who would later go on to produce a total of five roller coasters that still operate at the park. Intamin also became one of three major roller coaster manufacturers for Cedar Point, joining that of Aerodynamics and BNM. Aerodynamics went on to produce their final two rides for the park, a steel suspended coaster named Iron Dragon in 1987, and Magnum XL200, a steel hyper coaster in 1989. Magnum was another record breaking ride for the park, as it was the first roller coaster to break the 200 foot barrier. The ride itself measures 63 metres high and has the top speed of 72 miles per hour. On its release, it was the tallest, fastest and steepest complete circuit roller coaster in the world. From 1998 to 2000, it ranked first in the Golden Ticket Awards Top Steel Roller Coasters. Many have credited Magnum with starting the Coaster Wars, a period in which amusement parks attempt to outdo each other by building taller and faster rides. Cedar Point continued to fuel the Coaster Wars by producing Mean Streak, the tallest and fastest wooden coaster in the world. Mean Streak opened in 1991 and measures 49 metres high. During its lifetime, it has been retracked several times, most recently in 2012. Three years after it opened, Cedar Point debuted their first B&M roller coaster, Raptor. Raptor broke various world records upon its opening date in 1994. It became the tallest, fastest and longest inverted roller coaster in the world. The ride has a top speed of 57 miles per hour, measures 42 meters high and features a total of six inversions. Due to the success of the B&M invert, Cedar Point opened Mantis, now known as Rougarou. Mantis was the tallest, fastest and longest stand-up roller coaster at the time of its opening in 1996. However, new for the 2015 season, the ride was updated. It became Rougarou, a flawless coaster complete with new trains, new colours and a new theme. The second children's coaster to be built was Woodstock Express, a Vacoma Junior coaster. The ride opened in 1999 and is the only roller coaster constructed by Vacoma at the park. Unlike Vacoma, B&M are now working to produce their fourth ride for the park. The new coaster, Val Raven, will be the tenth dive coaster to open worldwide and the third in the US. Currently, it is under construction, but is set to open in May 2016. Valraven will open as the tallest, fastest and longest dive coaster in the world, 
as well as B&M's 100th roller coaster. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure to check out part two, which can be found over at CoasterBot's YouTube channel. This video really couldn't have been done without him, so make sure to give him a subscribe, especially if you'd like to see more of this kind of video done but for roller coasters, which can be found over at his channel. And of course, if you'd like to see more of these, post your comments below about what parks you'd like to see us do next.